Rise Up and Fall, written and directed by Brian Hewitt. I love that title. That title reminds me of this channel. How it rised up. <laughs> and the subscribers fell. And also everything else. Um, the movie is about this, these two groups, these two crime groups, these two crime organized groups that's basically fighting over the drug trade of the city. And in this film, there's a lot of betrayal. Because one minute you think a person is running with that person, then they end up shooting their best friend in the head, which you thought that was their best friend. Then the cops, you know, it's pretty crooked too because it's like they're trying to stop the situation, but then they want control of the drugs too. So even they trying to take over the city. So you got a lot of crisscross scenarios going on inside of this film, which shit like that happens in real life. Awfully a lot. That's why you can't trust no goddamn body. Cause as soon as you trust them and let them in your backyard, they get the Vaseline and they fuck you in the ass. Anyway, to make a long story short, let's get this movie a rating, shall we? I give this movie a big ass. What? Now for me, I actually like the story. I thought the story was pretty good because the story definitely nails it down between you know crooked cops and also the gangs and and I like how they. You, 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 you don't really know how to figure the cops out because you tell it, the, the cops seem like they're they trying to stop situations and find out what's going on but then at the same time it's like they're trying to become the people that they locked up so that this crooked cops just something in this film and then you got the gangs where you got certain gang members that died off and certain people their best man took over certain gangs so now you got them at a, a drug rival where you know it's always somebody trying to whack somebody and, and when people get shot in this film you Really be shocked because I'm not lying to you. A lot of times I got shot when people got betrayed in this film, and you didn't see it coming because you're like, "Oh, okay, damn, that's messed up. That's really cold." There's a lot of cold moments in this film. Um, the strippers, I'm not even gonna go there. I usually have a marathon with them because every time I see strippers in movies and I see them get up there and they start dancing on the stage, and I'll be like, "Who slipped what and who drank?" <laughs> because that person like they about to pass the hell out. So I was dying laughing. There were some moments in this film I was about to die laugh. Like the guy they call uh, Notorious B.I.G. I thought he was funny when he was talking about the guy, mom, when he, you know, she used to kiss him on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. But um, if you want to check out Rise Up and Fall, it's, it's on YouTube right now. Definitely show your love and support. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it. Before I get out of here, I'd like to give a huge shout-out to Brian Hewitt. And I'd like to give a huge shout-out... <laughs> to Wayne Johnson, that that memory, that that part is still in my head. To Wayne Johnson, thank you guys so much. Um, you guys are wonderful, and it's always good to have someone share their art with you, and for me to get it out there so you guys can see it and check it out as well. Rise up and fall. It's on YouTube right now. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Rise up and fall. Cause I told you I thought about it. I thought the story was awesome, but everything else was a trying time. And to all my movie lovers, keep it. You know what? I was about to say it. I was about to say it. I can't say keep it scary because this is not a scary film. This is a crime film.